What's up guys? I just wanted to invite you into my leather shop today. Uh, I just set up a camera, kind of wanted to do a time lapse. In this video, I'm working on the construction portion of a pair of custom sandals that I'm making. So you'll see me take my camera, kind of move it around, get shots lined up in order to produce some video content for YouTube here or TikTok and Instagram. So it's kind of like that movie Inception because we're watching the making of a video while, or, or you'll, you'll see the video, I'm sorry, you'll see the video that I'm making in this video in the future. So yeah, I just wanted to hang out with you guys. I'm gonna try to take this whole uh, voiceover in one shot. That way it's kind of a little bit more organic and uh, you know, maybe tell some stories, give some tips on what it is that I'm doing. I really encourage everyone that can hear my voice right now that's watching this video. If you have any kind of questions or comments that you would like to ask or share, please go in the comments below. The leather crafting community is so incredibly friendly and welcoming. So I just encourage everyone to make friends in the comments below get to know each other and I mean even if you want to put your Instagram tag down there so we can all follow each other and encourage each other going forward. That's one of the most incredible things that I've experienced while doing Leathercraft is just the community around Leathercraft. I You'd be surprised how many people you're able to reach out to and we'll get back to you and help in any, you know, help in any questions you might have. And uh, yeah, I know I certainly try to as much as I possibly can. Kind of gotten to the point where during my work days, I put my phone on do not disturb just so I can get work done. But the evenings, you know, I'm, I'll get back to people as I can, as, as much as I can. So yeah, I, uh, I get into the shop around in between 5.30 and 6 o'clock in the morning every single day. I'm located in Southern California, so it's summertime here right now and it gets incredibly, incredibly hot. So I'm always trying to beat the heat and uh, yeah, plus at this point I just, I, I feel for my own mental health. It, it's so beneficial to wake up early and immediately start doing something productive and something that I could be proud of. Just, it, it really helps me out. So um, yeah, and plus, like I mentioned, it, it gets hot here and the shop, the, the leather shop that I'm working in is relatively new. We, uh, we got the foundation and uh, the frame of it put up about a year a little bit less than a year ago. So there's still a lot of moisture in the wood and it gets incredibly humid in here. Every time I look down at my feet, I feel like there's gonna like be a boa constrictor that just pops out and bites my ankle because it's so hot and humid. It feels like tropical rainforest sometimes in here. But um, yeah, you know, I just try to make the most of it. Um, I was kind of presented with a couple different options this year for summer. Um, either we could go on a vacation, go on a cruise, or I could get an air conditioner for my shop. And I didn't think about it for long. I'm like, heck yeah, let's go on a cruise. Cause I just, I feel like I'll remember or the experience that I have with my wife 10 years from now. And I won't, ex I won't remember the experience of being so hot for a summer in my shop. So. You just power through. If I have to, I have a pool in the backyard. So just hop out and jump in the pool real quick, get back in here and get back to work. So, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really proud of how my shop has uh, come along and I haven't had the opportunity to really kind of show it. And I feel like with this wide angle, you get a real feeling for the whole layout of it. What, I, what I've found most valuable in my workshop is having a place for everything. You'll see in this video how I clean up after myself at every single stage of the process. A clean work area to me is so beneficial and it just, it makes me work faster. Even if I have to take a second to 
put the tools that I'm using away um, and then come back to them. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. And you know, as when we're kids and our, our dads or even our moms get on us and start harping on us about, you know, specifically putting tools away. If your dad has like a tool set in the garage, like make sure you put it away right where you found it. Um, I'm, I'm that way. Like I, I totally am. Everything has a place in my shop and, you know, I joke around, like I could, I could work a full day in my shop, even if I was blindfolded because everything has a, uh, it has a place. And you know, I really try to keep it, keep it clean. And, you know, I'm very proud and, uh, I'm very grateful for the opportunity that I have. It's not, it's not that I always had a shop like this. I, I started off, you know, working in a four by three foot area on top of a piece of, uh, plywood. And uh, yeah, I just, you know, you, you progress up and up and I fell in love with the craft and you know, I'm grateful that I get to do this full time now and bring you guys videos like this and, and it really makes me excited. So thank you for you know, just hanging out with me. And uh, a couple of the features in the shop that I would just do want to mention, you can see that uh, clicker press behind me from Weaver, that thing is such a blessing to have in my shop. It gets used so often, and uh, I just want to shout out Weaver because they always take care of me. If you are planning on purchasing any kind of uh, leather supplies, I'm gonna provide an affiliate link in the description below. Um, if, you, if you're gonna buy from them, I just ask that you click on that affiliate link and purchase what you were gonna purchase anyways. Because of that, I'm able to get a little bit of a kickback and uh, it helps me be able to take the time out of my work schedule to uh, where I would normally be getting paid to put these videos together, to do these voiceovers and try to produce as much content as I can for the leather community. So yeah, I would, I would totally appreciate that. It would be super rad. I'd be stoked. So yeah, we're just moving around moving around like a crazy person having a good time um you can see behind me i have a little uh kind of fan swamp cooler thing i just move that around with me sometimes i gotta fill it up with water and uh yeah, it helps a little bit it's it's a fan it's nothing it's nothing <laughs> too uh extravagant it's no ac but um you know keep it moving so yeah it, it works out really really good and uh yeah, I'm, I'm grateful. Here I'm just hand stitching the the sandals. This this part, although I love it, is incredibly time consuming. I feel like I spend probably two thirds of all of my time stitching projects up, and you know something that's been really important to me is to be able to carry that. Um, that branding of handmade and I've discussed with a lot of my friends a lot of my peers that are you know very influential in the leather crafting community and you know it, it's a debate if using a sewing machine is still considered handmade if you use anything with a machine or moving parts is it handmade and man I've come to the conclusion after doing leather craft for almost two years that all of it's handmade. It's all really, really difficult. So if you can find a tool that's gonna make your job better um, and quicker, especially when you get to a point where you're selling a lot of products, um, jump on it. That, don't, don't be uh, so stubborn like I am. I'm actually in the process of bringing in like a hand crank, um, a hand crank sewing machine, something that will still be able to get through a lot of leather and provide that kind of saddle, saddle stitch, hand, hand stitched look that I, I really appreciate in my products. And I think my clients really appreciate that too. It's, you know, I try to bring a luxury product um, to people, but built in a rugged way that will stand the test of the time. I just got a package here from uh, Belts Production. They sent me a couple rolls of leather. I'm gonna be doing a project with them coming up soon as well. And uh, I'll put a link to their, to their uh, website below. They have some incredible leather. They've sent me out a couple things in the past to do projects with. So 
If you guys have any ideas for a project that you'd like to see me do with that leather, go in the comments below, write it down, and uh, I'll take a serious consideration. If there's something that just stands out amongst everybody that you'd really like to see me make, I'll make it. You know, if it's in my capacity, I'm not, uh, I'm not super, super fantastic and over the top at everything possible to be made with leather, but I think that I've, I've gotten to a point that I have become um, a lot more comfortable and I'm able to prototype things a lot quicker now than I used to be. And I think just the more you actually have your hands on leather and the tools and everything that comes along with it, you're able to kind of mentally make shortcuts and work out the geometry and the math and all of the things that come along kind of in your head where you don't have to go through so much trial and error. So if you're watching this and you're really new to Leathercraft, I hope that that's encouraging. Um, you know, you're not supposed to have it all figured out right at the beginning. It does get easier over time. And you know, they say enjoy the progress or the process, I'm sorry. And it's cliche, it's corny, but it's so true. Like, I, I enjoy what I do right at this moment so much every single day. You know, I've been, I, I suffer from ADD and it's hard to keep my attention on anything more than five minutes, especially when it comes to hobbies. I jump around and I buy every expensive thing that you possibly can to start a new hobby. And, uh, I've stuck with Leathercraft for two years and I've made a business out of it and I still enjoy every single morning that I get to wake up. Even though it's five o'clock in the morning when I wake up and my alarm clock goes off, I'm excited to come out here to, uh, to get to work. Speaking of my wife, there she is. She came in to say hello after work. She's a teacher. Um, she's awesome. So if you got any teachers in your family, uh, in your life, support them. They're having a hard time right now. Things are weird in the school system. So just love on them all you can. I'm cleaning up my shop so that tomorrow morning when I get back out here, it is ready to go. Now, one last thing to do. Cannonball. Let this be a reminder, guys. Don't take yourself too serious. Um, have fun, man. Break some rules. Um, I promise you one thing, life, life is crazy. And uh, none of us are gonna get out alive. So just enjoy it as much as you can.